Okay, now it's just pretty cool at the moment. There's a tiny bit of pressure left in the cooling system, and the head's like warm. Uh, most important thing is when you're working on a car, uh, never release pressure in the cooling system until the head and the cylinders are way lo lower than the boiling point of water. Just after this thing reaches critical temperature on the gauge, there's probably hot spots in the head which are well above 150 degrees Celsius. And if the pressure were to suddenly be released by taking the cap off, that water is going to suddenly turn into steam. It's going to blow everything up, blow these hoses up, boil the head dry in an instant and probably split it in two. It'll just absolutely destroy this engine. So now that it's cooled down, it's safe to actually release the cap. And discharge. Oh, yeah, we overfilled it before, so we'll dump a little bit of fluid. And what I'm going to do is leave a little bit of pressure in there and release this screw. I'm going to find a spanner that'll fit it, but she's uh, rounded off. Now this screw here is not on the side of the thermostat where the air bubble will be, but I'll release it anyway and just see what it does. Assuming I can get something to fit it. There we go, there's an air bubble in there. That's our problem. There is air being drawn in through this cracked hose down here when she cools off. Now, if I release that, should get a bit of coolant coming out. There we go. Still some air bubbles coming through. There's a lot of air. Okay, this is just a service port for another temperature sensor. Uh, this is the high pressure side of the thermostat. bit of air in there. Going down slightly. That's better. Okay, that sort of proves the point. I've still got to drain the cooling system and take this hose and everything off in a couple of days. I'll find a replacement or make something. But yeah, that's how she goes. Something as simple as that. Can cause a lot of headaches. Crack is just down in there. Not much, but it's enough. Oh, well. I'll source a hose and do this a bit later on. Thanks for watching.